June kicks off stone fruit season, and we've got some tips for you. Hi, it's John with ProduceGeek.com, and June is really the kickoff of the stone fruit season here in the United States. California growers get going with organic and conventional uh, varietals of stone fruit, and then it kicks off a season of summer and you know, a great time to enjoy this type of fruit. So at the beginning of the season, one of the things that it's important to realize is that on peaches and nectarines, the early varieties to come off the trees are going to be clingstone, and that's where the flesh, uh, you know, sticks to the pit. And so I typically would be cutting a peach off the sides instead of trying to just roll my knife around the pit and just twist it. If you twist a clingstone, it's gonna kind of get beat up. So I like to slice them off during June. By July, mid-July, that's when you get those freestone varieties on the peaches and nectarines where you could just circle around with a knife and twist apart and you're ready to go. But in the meantime, I'd slice off the side. So, hey, speaking of peaches, can you tell the difference between these two just by looking at the stem area? This one is a white flesh peach. You can see it's white kind of tone underneath the red, whereas the yellow is shining through underneath the red blush on the, the yellow flesh peach. With peaches, what I'm looking for is a little bit of nice fuzz on the, on the sides. It does uh, vary by variety. I'm trying to avoid peaches that would have a lot of green uh, underneath. That was, that's maybe a, a sign of underripe. And then I'm just going to leave them on my counter once I buy them. Because the peaches and nectarines and this type of fruit, it is picked right away. They force air cool it down to 33, 34 degrees and try to keep it at that temperature until it wakes, makes its way to the supermarket. And you see at most supermarkets, they're displaying their peaches and nectarines at room temperature. And that's what I recommend for at home because at room temperature, that's when the fruit starts to soften and the sugars really start to shine. And if you put it in a refrigerator that's like 38 to 45 degrees, that temperature zone or in and out of the refrigerator, warm, cold, warm, cold, that's how you can destroy the texture of a peach or a nectarine. That, that's like the kill zone, 38, 40 degrees. That was not good for the internal texture of the stone fruit. So how do you know when it's ripe? It's uh, a simple squeeze in the palm of your hand, gentle squeeze. Don't be poking your finger or thumb in there, but it'll start to soften. That's when you know it's gonna be a delicious uh, peach or nectarine. By the way, what's the what's the difference in flavor between these are nectarines, yellow flesh, white flesh. I can tell by the slight difference in the stem bowl. Of course, I could also look at the sticker. A white flesh is low acid, and so it's just going to be all sweet. A yellow flesh has higher levels of acid, and you get that tangy sweet balance in the in the taste. So both are delicious, but the white flesh, low acid, and just all sweetness. Something that you don't necessarily get all summer, but is really good in June and July is apricots from June in California, July from Washington. And apricots, you definitely want to let them get a, a little tender to, the, to, to a gentle squeeze at room temperature. You're going to have varieties that are all yellow. You're going to have varieties that have a high red blush, but the color is not going to change once they're picked. It's more about when they give to a gentle squeeze love apricots this time of year that really unique uh, texture and flavor and uh, good balance of sweet and tart but uh, something that is just so snackable cherries june we're gonna have good cherries from california these are organic cherries from california that i've got here i'm gonna pop one in my mouth right now spit out my pit mm, that's really good there are several varieties of dark sweet cherries I think I'm eating a coral variety right now, but um, what I'm looking for when I go to the store is their wetness in the bottom of the bag or the clamshell, and, and I try to give one a little little squeeze. Do they feel firm? 
if if I don't see any wetness and the and the cherry is firm, I'm gonna buy that. And I do keep these in the refrigerator until I'm ready to eat them. Just give them a gentle rinse, uh, or not a gentle rinse, a rinse of water under the sink before I'm ready to eat it. You want to do that with all your stone fruit just before you're ready to eat it. Those are some of my stone fruit tips for June. I hope you get to enjoy some of these. We'll be back with more uh, highlights in the future of special varieties. And if you find some fruit you love, share it with a friend.